What's going on people? It's your man the YB back once again. So you can see the title here. Deontay Wilder remains hopeful of landing the AJ fight after knocking Zhang's head. So bark off. Here are his comments he made to the BBC. Oh man, you know what? Uh, I always said it before. You know, Cockadoo Lou, it'll be the same if we ever fought each other. It only takes that one fight, that one night, June first, and uh, you know it's going. <laughs> it's going to be that night, that one fight. Deontay Wilder knocks Zhang's head, spark off, and the world goes crazy. And then, there we go, or well, and there we go again. Wilder versus AJ, they want it again. Reflecting on his defeat to Parker, Wilder insisted he remains a better fighter and former foe Parker and that the New Zealander was the better man on the night that monster wasn't there no more said Wilder it was one of those boring fights versus Parker where if anyone did any action they won he's talking like he's commenting on a fight you know this guy and that guy were fighting and it was one of them boring fights and if someone did some action they won what the fuck your big gangly ass was in there what are you talking about don't comment it like a spectator. He was in there. Big basketball player have an ass. That's what you look like in there. Basketball player. You want a boxer, that's for sure. There was no boxing. And listen, Wilder isn't known for his boxing yet, but he's known for trying to have a go and take your head off. There was none of that. So he's right here when he says the monster weren't there no more. My concern is, it weren't there no more. Is it going to come back? Is it going to come back? Wilder, yeah, was broke and fighting for his daughter. That's not an... Well, listen, I give Wilder credit. He's not a... When it comes to having a fight, he'll have a fight. If he's in a fight. Or at least historically. He's never run from his destiny. That makes sense. Fury versus Wilder 2. He got steamrolled. Didn't get a look in edge raise. Fury versus Wilder 3. He had a good go. Got a beat, break, beat off him. But when you go through that kind of torment... You've lost, you've been beat up, hard fights, you've made all the money in the world. Your daughter that you were fighting for, she's on now, she ain't down bad. It come, What's inside you then? Do you actually like fighting? There's only a very few who actually like to have a scrap. Do you know what I'm saying? They actually like having a fight. Some boxers just want to make money. The fighter, the actual... The love of getting in there, I'd say, for example, Nigel Ben loved getting in there having a scrap. Even Eubank loved getting in there having a scrap. The new age guys, who of the new age guys can I say love getting in there and having a scrap? Shizora, probably. It's an easy one. Um, of the top guys, though, top heavyweights, who likes... You can't say Fury because he's ducking and dodging. Although it's not fair. I don't know Nigel Ben and Chris Eubank history were they ducking and dodging people well it didn't look like it when Nigel Ben fought McLennan that's for sure that ain't ducking dodging nothing yeah the only thing he he went straight in there and got his block half knocked off in the first whatever round of round or two and then came back got back through the ropes and got stuck in whether he was juiced or not anyway I've digressed I don't see that quality in Wilder yeah he turned up against Parker he offed that hippie juice. He'd been smoking the toad venom or whatever it was. And he hippie now. He wanted to be friends with everyone. He got all the chest paintings and he standing around a tree and looking at the stars and oh there's the there's the this celestial whatever. Hundred percent. Talking about horoscopes, that's what he was doing, hundred percent. He was there smoking the toad, hand in hand, all painting on his chest, and he looking at oh yeah, there's the horoscope thing. That's he'd be on. And that's what it looked like. It looked like a man who was dazed. He weren't trying to fight nothing. Has it come back? Is it a magical return? I'll believe it when I see it. That Parker fight was woeful. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure. It wasn't a big amount of money, thank God. But I put some coin on Wilder. There was no way he weren't going to knock Joe Parker's head to spark off. No way. I couldn't. I thought it was a joke. I thought the fight was a bit silly, really. <laughs> that's how I felt. I thought the fight was a bit silly. I thought the Zhang, eh? truthfully, again... I said the other day, Parker's, that double, the Zhang and Wilder double, would have been a thousand to one. 
in my mind. There's absolutely no chance Parker would have beat Wilder and then Zhang. And here we are. So you've got the two losers now. That said, Zhang has hurt everyone he's been in there with. Put Parker down twice. Hergovic down. Knocked Joe Joyce to juggernaut chin spark out. So he ain't no joke. He ain't playing like that. Even when he loses, he put your ass down. I'm not sure Wilder fights so well after getting put down. Truth be known. I guess you could say, well, he hit Fury. He got put down in the third fight and then got up and hit Fury. Uh, but still. Or was it the other way around? Did Wilder get... Yeah, he got, I'm sure Wilder got put down first. And then Wilder hit him back. All right. That's your... That's Wilder's first loss, though. It's, in my opinion, somewhat easier to come back from a first loss. Oh, it was a mistake, right? Oh, it was a mistake and I didn't do this right. I didn't do that right. It's not your inadequacy at that point. You can make excuses. The second time you get mollowopped, you're then left with, oh, it's me. Do I have it anymore? That's the question Wilder had been asking himself. And unfortunately, the Joe Parker question was there. The Joe Parker question was there. Do I have it anymore? And the answer was resoundingly no, unfortunately. I respect Wilder though. Why? Well, Wilder's renowned for having a fighting a top level guy and then fighting a couple bums. He ain't doing that this time. So it's either a cash out job. But he, <laughs> Turkey likes boxing, yeah? Wilder, I'm sure, potentially could have politicked his way to fight a bum. Not a bum, but like a Wallin type cat. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure we could have angled for that if he'd have wanted it on the Never Never. Oh, Turkey, give me Wallin and then I'll fight Zhang next time kind of thing. So he went straight for Zhang. That does That is positive from this whole lost your head point of view. Why, who, would, who would go in there with Zhang? Who would do that if you're just playing with it? Zhang ain't the guy to play with. Ask Joe Joyce, he know about that. Zhang ain't playing. He ain't got no card. Listen, Zhang ain't got a lick of cardio, but for them four, five, six rounds, he, he, he dangerous. He bad. Zhang is 290 pounds of not to be played with. 290 pounds of do not play with this guy. And Wilder go in there with him. And it does, it does, listen, on paper, it should be a really fascinating fight. There's so many elements. Cardio. Wilder's never had the greatest gas tank when in a fight. When under pressure. When in there with a big dude. 290, the biggest dude he's ever been in there with. And the biggest, all due respect, Fury can punch to some extent. Zhang... Punches like a mule. He kicks like a mule. And he can box as well. He's a boxer puncher. And he's quick as well. To be honest, he's quick. He ain't slow. Especially in that first half. So Wilder's going to have his hands full. And I hope that whoever wins this fight wins by knockout. That's the hope I've got. I think the Southpaw and Orthodox matchup. We know Wilder essentially. I'm not sure Wilder's ever knocked someone out with anything but a right hand. Or at least he's thrown the right hand and then winged a big left hook following it up off the leverage. <clears throat> but that dynamic plays up nicely. Usyk was talking about it. He was saying, yeah, Wilder's potentially tricky. When Wilder throws that right hand straight, he seems to do his thing where he tries to overpower it. He kind of has it here and he drops it to his waist and starts winging it. There was a fight. I'm sure it was Wilder versus Ortiz too. He was throwing it really narrow and just, boop, just touching people with it. That's all he needs to do. Get the right hand going consistently. If you're trying to look for this magic shot where you're going to pull your hand to your waist and sling it, it's probably not going to come. I've, I've, for years I've said, I'd love to see Wilder go in there, yeah, and use his right hand like, like a consistent weapon rather than a party trick. Go in there, touch someone to the body with the right hand, just get, get your feel for it. And then add power later. Don't go in there winging it. All excited and shit. It looks scrappy and it's not as effective. It's not as as devastating. Speed kills. If you're, listen, someone like Zanya who's well schooled. If you're putting your hand to your waist and then slinging it. He's going to see that come a mile off. But anyway, Wilder is who he is now I believe. And that ain't going to change. Wilder ain't going to suddenly tighten up and have some discipline. He's going to be slinging it. But still, the party trick works. It's caught Fury in the first fight where he was dancing around and be trying to be slick. He caught Fury in the third fight. So it can happen. You'd like to think, is Fury's defense more dynamic than Zhang's? I think Zhang's more orthodox in his defense. Hands up, chin down. 
But we've seen Wilder spit the guard. Maybe Wilder likes that. Punching into someone who's chin down, hands up. Is he going to turn up though? If Wilder comes in there, yeah, with bad intentions. The fight, no matter what, will be interesting. If he comes in there looking like Parker, then he's going to lose on points for sure. At the very least, if not get knocked spark out. Because Wilder's chops ain't all that. And I'm not sure at this point, with them little basketball player legs, I'm not sure if Zhang clip him like he clipped Joe or Parker or Herkovic. I ain't sure Wilder's going to get up. Or if he does get up, he's going to be a whole mess. He's going to be ready to go. Yeah? What fight was it? Mike Tyson versus Spinks. His legs might be shot. They are. That's what it will be one of them ones. Wilder will get up and then basketball player legs will be like looking like Stretch Armstrong and shit. Just all messy looking. That's what will happen if he get clipped by Zang, in my opinion. But listen, we know what the YB says is going to be wrong. Yeah, more time. Zang go in there, get sparked out the first round. That's what, based on my prophecies, yeah, I think Zang, gonna, Zang get sparked out first round. I mean, listen, that would be great for boxing though. See Wilder knock someone like that out. But he's never knocked no one like that out. Ortiz in the first fight was like 10 rounds. The second fight was like 7, 8 rounds. He's never sparked someone decent out really early. Fury's never sparked out early. So it's the argument that, well, we know Zhang gets tired late. Zhang gets tired late. He slows up. Them hands drop. And Wilder can stay. It depends how much damage he's taken though in them early rounds. Because look at the Fury fight, the third one. Wilder was looking, I mean, Zhang might get tired, yeah, but Wilder was looking exhausted. He was like this, look like a zombie. Don't get me wrong, he was still trying to fight, but he was like, this goosed. Anyway, I hope Wilder means what he says here, and he's not just talking for talking's sake, but time will tell. Let me know your thoughts, smash the like button, subscribe, look up the bell, 100%, no doubt.